It was time to go to Falcon Nationals in Texas, so Dad and I loaded up Carl and set off for a 1,700 mile road trip. There were lots of firsts on this trip. It was the first time we drove Carl further than to the parts store. First time we were able to actually calculate our gas mileage. 21 miles per 21. Day. And it was also the first time that we washed Carl when we stopped in Houston to visit family. But after that, it was time to load up the whole family and make the drive to Dallas for the show. Texas for Falcon Nationals and as high as I had this held up in my head it exceeded my expectations. This was our first Nationals and I knew I would see some cool cars but I had no clue what I was in for. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you think about the Ranchero? So pretty. that we had met before and were meeting just then, but my eye immediately spotted something that I had been searching for for forever. Bumpers. That's it. That's the 65. Yeah. Now look, 340 exchange. So mean? like basically you give him yours so he can use it as one that he can recreate. That would be perfect. We could literally change it. Here. Here. Very good price. That's the price you'd pay for a do new I one. I have that much cash. You do have, you don't have that much cash, but I'm guaranteed they'll probably take the card. Or we can grab the cash later. I brought cash to the show, but not quite enough to get the bumpers. Just when I thought I might have to wait until the next day, my brother realized he had enough cash to let me borrow what I needed. Thank you. Oh. He's the best. So, I just spent the most amount of money I've ever spent in cash. But it was a, it was a on, good price. On bumpers. But it was a good price. It was a very good price. I could buy an iPad for that amount of money. <laughs> and I'm kind of regretting not buying an iPad. But Carl is worth it. So I just bought bumpers, but for a cheaper price, I have to give him my current bumpers. So we need to take them off, replace the bumpers, put the new bumpers back on, and give him the old bumpers. And we have to do it all within five minutes. Let's do it. We would only have to do it in five minutes, but no, that makes I'm it more just, exciting. Yeah, it does. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's hot. It's toasty. 
so we gotta get the parking lights off. There's one. Let the pipes on, huh? Okay. Alright. We just got them off, now we have to get the brackets off before we can give them to the guy and we can get our new ones. The issue is we've never taken our back brackets off before, so this is going to be a very new thing that we've never done before and we happen to be doing it where we have no PB blaster, no um, wire brushes, and nothing really to help us. So it's just kind of all pure strength <laughs> at this point. <laughs> One of the nice things about Falcon Club is community that you build. So we met someone new. This is Warren. He's going to help me get the brackets off and put the brackets on and put the new bumpers on. So that's that's really nice. So we don't have to do it all by ourselves. All right, that's really fun. So here's the problem. This metal cap is mm -hmm. spinning. Yeah. So I can't grab on. No, because she's going to spin. Everything's rounded. Hmm. I think we're going to have to cut it. I've got a sawzall in my truck. Yeah? Yeah! That'll do. Elle, did you find uh, bumper bolts? He I said, found one bumper bolt. Nobody here sells bumper bolts. Really? It's the one thing I we cannot find. We better hope find. that these others come off good. If they don't, then we're... Yeah, we had three more untried bolts, and if those didn't come off, we didn't know what we were going to do. <laughs> well, let's hope that we don't have to find another bumper bolt. It's impossible. Yeah. Woo! I'll find that. There you go, Elle. Exactly. Woo! Is that coming okay? Yep. All right. And, and just like that, the bumpers were free, and I could take them back to exchange for the brand new ones. and family, it was time to get the brackets on and the new bumpers on Carl. Not that good side, not, the, not that other side. <laughs> oh. What do you think? This is cool. It's exciting. bumpers on and it was wonderful to have that process of doing it but finally after we had done that it was time to stop working on Carl and look at all the amazing cars that were around us. it wasn't too late to learn something. I met Billy Pope from Billy's Hot Rod Shop in Dallas and he noticed something was off on our hood. So I got a free lesson. You have to really, like that to get the latch. Uh -huh. So that little rod, we're gonna lengthen that rod. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get anything on now, now, now hold this and we'll loosen that back. The reason when you hold that, because if you start turning it, you lose your baseline adjustment. Here. Half turn. Let's go another half turn. Right there. Right there. It's one full turn. Oh, now hold that screwdriver there. 
turn that camera up. See, look, it's not sucking out as hard. But now when we raise this bumper up so that when this is at the same height that this uh -huh. when you close it, we're gonna have to lengthen that again. Okay. So it's a multi-step thing. Okay. Loosen that up. Hold the rope. Oh, oh, I get enough screwdrivers. Sorry. Sorry. Got some screwdrivers. Now rotate the rubber part counterclockwise. You want it up. There you go. Okay. That's, that's about as good for now to test. Just tighten your nuts. On the last day of nationals, it's a participant vote to pick the best cars for me to class. And there were so many to choose from. Gotta get the interior. <laughs> Chef's kiss. This one's really cool because it has like automatic doors and windows. It's a completely different engine. Yeah, it's an engine it's, out of an Explorer. It's so incredibly cool. There's this event called valve cover racing where you take valve covers, screw to a wooden board with wheels on it, and you race them to see who's the fastest. I actually did pretty good in my races, but in the end, Olivia and her racer was just too fast for me. Then, later that night, to cap off the show, there was a big banquet with food and awards, and it was really great. And I won an award! I got one of the top five in the Diamond in the Rough category, so I got an award, and I'm so proud of Carl, and I'm so proud of myself for all the work that we put into it. This is a really fun reward from our very first Nationals. This Nationals has been great, not only because of all of the amazing cars that I've gotten to look at, but because of the amazing community that not only have I built, but also that the people have come into and invited me into. I'm just so grateful for all the people who have not only helped me with Carl this week, but also have just welcomed me into this family that really is formed here. And I'm just so grateful that I get to be part of it now. And I can't wait for another Nationals. As always, thank you to my executive producer, Drew Carter. And if you would like to support me, there are a couple ways you can. By subscribing to my YouTube channel or by going to my website at elliesgarage.com where you can find links to my Patreon and to my merch. I'll see you next time in the garage.